What does it mean to draw close to God? Drawing close to God refers to an enhancement in the love, devotion, and fear that a person has for God. There is no limit to how near one can draw to God. People in the hereafter will be repaid in proportion to their nearness to Him and will accordingly earn an eternal life in paradise. Therefore, the real aim of every man in life should be making a sincere effort as God proclaims. The efforts made by believers in this respect are pointed out in the Quran in these terms. And among the desert Arabs there are some who believe in God and the last day and regard what they give as something which will bring them nearer to God and to the prayers of the messenger. It does indeed bring them near. God will admit them into His mercy. God is ever forgiving, most merciful. The love and devotion that a person who has drawn closer to God has for him becomes even more intensified. He greatly fears to act in a way which God would not be pleased with and accordingly wards off evil. His devotion to religion, his eagerness and will to serve religion grow stronger. The stronger his closeness to God is, the more all these virtues increase. Is it possible to distinguish those people who are more pious? Which forms of behavior are signs of piety? It first needs to be made clear that the relevant criteria is piety. In other words, fear of God and care over his religion. Outside this, a person's race, ancestry, social status, or material possessions have no importance in the sight of God and Muslims. God expresses this truth in a verse. Mankind, we created you from a male and female and made you into peoples and tribes so that you might come to know each other. The noblest among you in God's sight is that one of you who best performs his duty. God is all-knowing, all-aware. So who are those most possessing piety? It is very definitely impossible to determine who is most possessed of piety in the sight of God. A man's true piety, sincerity, and faith are hidden in his heart, and God is the only one who can know them. People take the measure of that person based on his behavior, the sincerity of a person towards God, his loyalty in religion, the sincere effort he makes in order to earn the good pleasure of God, his eagerness and resoluteness to serve religion, his love for believers and his loyalty produce an opinion about the piousness of that person. Even so, the final judgment belongs to God alone. Man earns piety by avoiding sins and acts that are forbidden or behavior that does not comply with the morals of the Quran. Whoever is firmer in living by good morals makes more effort in order to help religion and is more studious in performing the commands of religion. His piety increases compared to that of others. A pious believer reveals himself by his wisdom too. The decisions he makes are right. He finds much easier and quicker solutions to the problems he faces. His speech is much wiser and more impressive he can perceive aspects of events that cannot be noticed by others and with a much keener awareness. With the services he performs,
he does not aim to emphasize himself, but instead displays a sincere manner. He does not seek the contentment and praise of other people, but the good pleasure of God. Regardless of the situation he is in, he always preserves the limits set by of God. A person who possesses all these features may be expected to be a person of righteousness. But still, it is not possible to form a definite opinion on whether that person is truly a man of piety or on who has a superior level of faith to whom. That is because man can make only a superficial evaluation based on what he sees from the outside. People's true faith, devotion, sincerity and nearness to God is known only by God. What does praying with hope and fear mean? God has commanded people to race each other to the good and to perform good deeds in order to earn the contentment of God all throughout their lives. No one, however, is sure of entering paradise as a consequence of what he does. For that reason, no matter how strongly a person is devoted to God and how sincere he is, he lives every instant of his life in hope and fear. Fearing the punishment of hell, he asks for forgiveness for his mistakes. On the other hand, since he sincerely believes in God, he entreats him to forgive his errors. He always has both the fear of entering hell and the hope of entering paradise until the day of reckoning when the judgment of God will be known. It is related in the Quran that prophets prayed to God in fear and hope. We responded to him and gave him Yahya, restoring for him his wife's fertility. They outdid one another in good actions, calling out to us in yearning and in awe, and humbling themselves to us.